Hey, everybody. In this uh, little demo here, we're going to work through the calculations that you would have to do for the lab that you just completed. Now, I made a little data table here so that you can see just what needs to get done. And you can see that this gets a lot easier when you've got a data table to work with. So um, here we've got our water. Here we've got our copper. And I'm just going to set this up with water being on the left-hand side. So 50 grams of water with a specific heat of 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius times its temperature change, which is final minus initial for us. So 28.95 minus 22.8. So that's the water side. That's going to be equal to the heat that's lost by copper. And that had a mass of 48.7 grams. We actually don't know its specific heat. We're trying to calculate that. And because this is losing heat, it's going to be initial minus final for us. So that's 98.7 minus 28.95. One of the things I want you to realize is that the final temperature for water is the same as the final temperature for the copper. That is, when this was done, they got to the same temperature, even though one was much warmer than the other. OK, so if we do all the math and you look at here, the, um, the, the water's mass, specific heat, and temperature, those are all numbers. There's no variables over there. So we can just do all that math. And we'll arrive at uh, 1286.58. And that's going to be uh, units of joules. right? So I can that there. And then um, here, we're going to have a variable in it. So uh, basically, it's 48.7 times whatever this ends up being. And that comes out to 3396.83x. And when we divide both sides by 3396.83, we get 0 0.379 joules per gram degree Celsius, and that's what our x is equal to. So that is what um, our specific heat of copper should be. And that's actually fairly close to the uh, literature value of the specific heat of copper. So it will be my job to describe why this is just a little bit low. I hope that was helpful, and I'll look forward to reading your lab reports next week. Don't forget to be a Wolfstein.